resource advantage. What is it and how will it help you play games better? It's the idea that you have more things than your opponent. So an extreme example in the case of, let's say, Magic the Gathering, if you have seven cards in your hand and your opponent has zero, you get to do anything you want with those cards and they can't do anything about it because they have no cards to fight back with. Why is this so important to have more of something? It's clear when it's seven cards to zero, but what if you have four cards versus three cards, are you inherently gonna win more? Well, there are bits of incremental advantage that are there. If you have four cards versus three cards, you're more likely to have three cards that are useful compared to your opponent who only has three cards. Now, in general, how do you get more of a resource? It comes at a cost. You're losing life. You're doing something a turn slower. You're giving your opponents some life or some resources of their own. You need to find out what is the most important thing to have the most of so that in the short term you may be losing out on something, but in the long term it will pay off and you'll get much more than you lost in the beginning. So I wanna go into some examples of games where there's one resource, multiple resources, where it's not very clear. So let's get into it. So let's look at Sentry. You're trying to buy points and they cost a variety of crystals in amount and type. So if you have more than your opponent, you'll get better points, you'll get more points, you'll get them faster. Those are all reasons to collect and have more crystals at any point in the game. So consider taking a turn off of buying something if your opponent doesn't have the ability to. Build out your crystal supply so you can buy more and have a better selection once a new, a new point card flips over. Let's look at Imhotep. There are blocks and there are blue cards. Those are your two resources you can have more of. Blue cards are obvious. They give you extra actions to choose from, so that's sweet. Blocks, if you have blocks on your little supply thing, then you have the ability to place them. If you don't, you can't place them and you have to make a choice, either ship something into a dock or get more. So you're losing a choice. The way to increase your supply in a way that's best is taking a turn off to do that when you don't care what your opponent does next, when it's all right that they do anything, that's, and you're hoping to get that and like set up for that turn early on. Let's look at Last Stand. This is a card game. And the examples are pretty clear in this. You have a four card limit at the end of your turn. What, at the end of your turn? Well, at, on other people's turns, you can have 10 cards. So at the end of your turn, you wanna see, can I make sure that I end up with four? I don't wanna end up with three, two, or one, or zero, because then I have the least amount of options. If I end up with four, I can get more when people attack me, use them on their turns, end up at four again, so that at the end of the game, if, in, in a, another extreme example, I have four, they have zero, we each have one card left that if attacked, we lose, I have all the ability to change the outcome of the turns. I have all the power. They can still win, but I have the advantage. And there are plenty other examples. Legend of the Five Rings, that's a complicated game. There are so many resources. There are two decks, there are fate counters, there are honor counters. There's so many things that you can take into account. If you get more of than an opponent, have more selection, you have more power, you have more advantage. You will win more games doing that. So the general advice is hold on to your resources. Get those resources at the cost of something that's less important, at the cost of a little life, at the cost of taking one extra turn, so that you can use them and have them when you need them over your opponent. So that's resource advantage. Good luck in your games and have a great day. Last stand. The board game where your power grows as you lose. Start with your deck face up and strategically arrange your cards into six columns. Attack your opponents with dice, but with each attack, they pick up cards to fight back with. Will you be the last one standing?